Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back inside Lumber Tycoon 2. And today I am going to show you how to build something, but I have a more serious note um, of something that I need to address. I, I've i gotten a couple of comments asking if I was okay. Um, they've noticed something in my videos, something has changed, and I wanted to address it, but per the request of my wife, I had not. Um, so tonight I am going to announce it um, because she came to me yesterday and said, I've been a huge avenue, like YouTube has been a huge avenue for me to speak out for um, children with ADHD and children with disabilities and special needs. So <clears throat> she didn't know why she wasn't letting me do the same for what's been going on. So, um, you may have known that I went on vacation with my family um, about four weeks ago and um, had a great time. And when we got back, um, my wife had gone in for a mammogram. And if you know what a mammogram is, um, it's basically where they check, um, check women for breast cancer. And they found two lumps. So, um, she got scheduled for a, um, biopsy. Um, that's where they go in and they take a small sample of tissue and check it to see if it's cancerous. Her test came back positive for, um, triple negative, um, cancer. So, for the last four weeks, I haven't said anything on my YouTube channel. I haven't said anything to basically anyone. I let people specifically who were connected to the Discord, like my admins, my staff, I let them know what was going on. I let my boss and stuff know what was going on and um, they've they've been really great. Everyone's been really great. But I needed to bring it up here and address it with all of you to let you know that, you know, sometimes life just happens. Um, there's not a reason for it. Um, it is genetic, and this is what her mother had passed away from. We have just gone through our first week of chemotherapy. Uh, sorry, she has just gone through her first week of chemotherapy, and it has been an absolute drain. She has been unable to eat. Um, she's been really tired and everything else that's been going on. But I wanted to let you guys know <clears throat> and just address it here because I know that if there is one thing I could absolutely speak out about and, and talk with you guys about, it's how I'm feeling and how I'm dealing with what's going on with her. I myself have been very tired. I've still got questions inside my head. Um, I'm not sad. I've spoken with my wife and I've spoken with her about the what ifs and what could happens and all the different things that basically life brings um, and what goes on with cancer or with this particular type of cancer. So I wanted you guys to know that we are okay. We're doing just fine so far and I will keep you guys aware of everything that's been going on and anything that we need to address. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you have any experiences that you want to share, it's up to you. You can leave them down below as well. Um, but I figured I might want to explain that before building what I'm building tonight. Now, um, what I've done is I've gone and gotten a whole bunch of purple wires because that's the, uh, let's see, I need to hit F for finish. The purple wires because it's the closest thing I could find to pink. So, and let's go ahead and place this right here. Uh, my work and my boss and everyone there has been absolutely wonderful. I could not have asked for a better job I could have not asked for a better family because that's what I consider my coworkers is they are definitely family. They have been there with us 
for everything. Um, I've actually been working from the house so I can be here with my family and I don't have to leave. I don't have to go anywhere or do anything. Just be here to take care of them, take care of the kids. Um, we have talked about it with the kids and everything that's been going on. So I wanted you guys to know that as well. That's not quite far enough. So uh, let's get back one. But um, if if you are sad right now, I want you to know that it's it's going to be okay. And no matter what the situation or what happens, I will continue to make videos. I've asked her, do you want me to continue doing what I do on here? And she said, yes. I want you to keep making videos and I want you to keep working on your book. I want you to keep doing what you're doing and we'll make it through this. I said, okay. So I figured I might let you guys know exactly what's going on because you have seen the difference of um, what's been happening to me inside my videos, inside the Discord. Um, I've stopped doing the morning, um, the morning talks, and I rarely do the afternoon talks anymore because I'm not driving to or from work. Um, if she gets some energy and if she's able to um, basically take care of the house by herself, then I will absolutely go off to work and, and be at work. Um, if I need to, but um, as it stands right now, I'm going to be here for her. I'm going to be here for the kids. I've taken over the majority of all jobs. There's some little things that she's still doing to like, she's like, you're not doing that right. So um, one of them is uh, folding laundry. I apparently don't fold laundry correctly. Um, anyhow, she is going through chemo treatment right now. Um, the first 30 days are the most crucial time for chemotherapy. Uh, she is going to lose her hair. She is going to get weaker. She is going to lose a lot of weight. After the chemotherapy, what they're going to do is what's called a double mastectomy. And that's where they will go in and they will remove both of her breasts. Um, after the surgery, they will follow up with um, radiation. So she'll have to go through radiation treatment. Um, it's actually, this is very emotional to talk about, but I, uh, I basically have been psyching myself up for the last hour to try and find a way to tell you guys and to let you know, and there's no, there's no easy way to bring it up and there's no nice reaction to it. There's no, um, there's no standard way to say like, oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's not your fault. You didn't do anything. There's no way to say, oh, you guys are so brave. Well, it's just kind of a thing that you have to do. It's, it's part of life. And what would you say if the person didn't want to do chemo or if they chose not to do radiation or surgery? Would you call them not brave? It's, it's not, I guess it's not, it's okay to say, to tell that to the person, to say that, but what's been more hard are the emotions that other people are going through and not necessarily us. She has been great through the whole thing. We have a great positive attitude. We've been joking about it and we've been hanging out. So, um, it's, it's okay. And we've, we've not been joking about the cancer. We've been there's little things like for example she went in and she had to have a, a port put in and what a port is it's a small under the skin diaphragm that leads um, a small tube up over the clavicle and into one of her main arteries inside her heart so it's a direct line into her heart so I asked her if if I push here do I make her heart skip a beat this and she's just like, haha, that's so funny. Um, <laughs> actually, she said you're a big dork. So um, I wanted to let you guys know that I am okay. I'm going to continue on the book. I'm going to continue making videos. And I'm going to continue building these, which are the pink ribbons. Now, granted, it says purple on the box. It's supposed to be a purple wire. But the actual color is not purple. It is definitely a pink. 
So, um, I would like to request if you have ever gotten a signature from me, if you don't mind, or if you could, I'd like for you to create one of these. I'd like for you to create a pink ribbon and it's, it only takes two, um, two neons to create. I didn't, I didn't know how many I was going to need. And I didn't know if the red or the orange, they didn't work out so well, but use purple, one, uh, switch and then two things. What I'd like for you to do is next to my name or next to my signature, just boop, <coughs> boop. just light it up and for the duration of her treatment and for the duration of how long this is going to take. And by the way, it's not a quick ordeal. This is going to be a good six months. Um, she's actually going to end the treatment and I think the therapy um, in January. So we still have a very, very long time to go. But we'll be with you for the entire way. Or I'll, I'll, I'll be with her for the entire way. And... I'll keep you guys updated. If you want to, you can take a, a screenshot of your pink ribbon and send it to me on Twitter. I will respond to it. Um, if you want to share this video as um, making awareness for breast cancer, then absolutely you can do that as well. I just, I really felt it necessary to bring to light what has been going on because like I said, a lot of you have been feeling it in my videos, even though I'm trying not to show it and I'm trying not to let it affect my YouTube videos. My YouTube channel really is about me, my life, my kids, my wife. It's it's about us. And I don't I don't want you guys worrying too much about like you know the stuff that's happening. Um if you yourself are going through chemo right now, I completely understand the the hard time that you're having and I want you to know it it will get better and just push through it um, <clears throat> her survival rate is a 77% um, that is because of the triple negative cancer basically what that means is it does not have any receptors for hormones and it does not have any receptors to proteins. Um, they are, there are new treatments available that will attack specific proteins, specific receptors um, for certain kinds of cancer. Hers does not have any of those. So it's a very, very aggressive, very hard to fight cancer. But since we caught it at such an early stage, and she's in stage two, by the old scale. Um, since we caught it at such an early stage, we're gonna go in and um, they're going to evaluate her and see how well she has taken to the chemo treatment. So, um, so that's that. And I, I hope, I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope I haven't made you too sad with this video. It's not my intent, and my intent was to inform you of what's going on and why you may have seen a difference in my videos. <clears throat> There's a lot going on. I have a, a lot in my life going on. So you may have seen that I had missed a couple of live streams. I had skipped a video. Um, there has been some, some stress inside the Discord. I wanted you to know everything that's going on, why everything's happening. That way there's no confusion in the background. And I bring to light what's happening in my life and what's happening with my wife. So this video is my wife has cancer. And as a tribute, I'd like for you to make the pink ribbon. So here we go. <clears throat> to make the pink ribbon, grab one of your um, purple wires, the neons, Start at there, boop. You're just gonna come up and make a single angle. Make it nice and wide because the base of the ribbon is very, very wide. And then come up at an angle, just like this, and start sloping it just slightly towards the center until you get up to right about there. 
then you're going to make a drastic turn. It's about, mm, I would say, 45 degrees off the original angle. Then come straight across, nice and level. Come back down, 45 degrees. And then the same spots that you see over here on this side, just kind of match them up like that. And then this one match completely. What you're going to do is you're going to go right back over the top of that. All right. And then this is going to be the opposite ribbon side. Right here. Right here. And just kind of angle it around. It's nice and smooth sweeping motion. Okay. We ran out of wire right there. So just finish it out. Grab your second wire. Start from the top. And then come up small angle straight across to the top try and get them parallel with this wire down here and right there right here right here now here's the trick right where this ribbon goes back behind it you need to stop your wire and you're going to change angles like if it were this ribbon coming off the back. So right here. Right here. Make sure that this one is even with this one. And then come down at the same angle that that first ribbon came down. Come back up. And stop right where this ribbon would cross. And you're just going to come straight across that ribbon like that. Oh, just about ran out. Finished. And if you've done it correctly, maybe. Oh no, I only have half a ribbon. <laughs> no. If you've done it correctly, you should have a nice pink ribbon. So there you go for pink ribbon week. Um, by the way, Breast Cancer Awareness Week is, or month is actually in October, but I figured if if we're going through it, we need to make everyone aware of it now, just in case. So, <sighs> what a what a sad video, and I don't want it to be sad. I want you guys to be aware. I want you to know that we are okay. We're going to keep you posted on everything that's happening. Probably not in so much details like I just did. And if you do have questions, or if you get scared, or if you've got a family member that's going through it, then speak to your parents. And parents, speak to your spouses. And parents, speak to your kids. Um, because it's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to hide. And it's not something that we have a control over. It happens. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reload my base. Because I, I know that pink ribbon actually got on there. So let's just do escape. Not escape. Menu. Load. Slot one. Reload. What's, um, what's kind of funny is I didn't realize the amount of pink things inside Lumber Tycoon 2 until I started thinking about the pink ribbon creation. And I, I mean, I knew this stuff was all pink, but like there's a, a lot of pink things, yet no pink wood. So, just an observation. I think even the, uh, the purple bobblehead comes in a pink box, doesn't it? Something like that. So. How long have I spent on here? Oh, it's only been 19 minutes. Okay. We can we can absolutely load back up the base and check it. Oh no, my stuff is falling. <clears throat> so if you keep watching my videos, if this is your first video that you've ever seen of me, I uh, apologize. Normally I'm really upbeat and I'm happy and everything else. I didn't feel, find it appropriate to be like, ah, oh, my wife has cancer. <laughs> so, um, 
I did, I've brought it down a lot for this particular video. Um, and I won't let it affect like the, the future videos in the way that it's been affecting this one and the previous ones this week. Um, pretty much the entire time that this has been going on, I haven't been saying anything and it's been, it's been killing me, but it was per the request of my wife. And it wasn't until yesterday, she literally came to me and goes, you have such a support base that I'm denying you to have. I said, that's, that's true. But what made you change your mind? She said she was laying down and basically daydreaming and thinking about like why she was not telling anybody or why she was wanting to keep it private. And I said, that's, that's your own personal reason. I mean, if you wanted to, we could keep this private if you want. She goes, no, I want you to tell your fans. So per her request, I let you guys know what's going on. I've even made a little dedication. Um, I've given you guys an outlook to this is something that can happen to anyone. And if you're going through it, or if you've got a family member who's going through it, and th this is any kind of cancer, I wanted you to know what cancer actually is. And cancer is a mutation inside a normal cell. When a cell gets ready to, it, when a cell goes to duplicate or to split, it will make two identical cells. Well, there's a process where the cell stops splitting. In a cancer cell, that trigger or that, that signal to say, hey, don't split, basically it gets turned off. So the, sp the cell just continuously splits and splits again. So now you have four cells with the exact same DNA and it splits again, you have eight. It splits again and it continuously splits so fast and so rapidly that the cell no longer performs its original task so if you have a brain cell or if you have it's not necessarily a brain cell if you have um, a muscle cell or an intestine cell or any kind of body part cell and it splits with that mutation that mutation gets replicated as well which causes more replication, which causes more and more and more and more and more. And that's what cancer actually is. So it was a healthy cell at one time and turned into a mutation where it turns into cancer. Um, what chemotherapy does is it disrupts that process, the rapid cell growth. And rapid cell growth happens in normal cells um, such as hair follicles. That's why whenever you go through chemo, you lose your hair. Um, that's also why your fingernails will stop growing. Um, the lining inside the mouth and inside the esophagus, it stops reproducing as fast and healing because your um, cells inside your mouth have rapid um, production. So. That's why the chemo is so rough. Um, something else is your red blood cells. Um, your red blood cells and your white blood cells get made from bone marrow. The bone marrow itself is a rapidly producing cell. So when you go through chemo, um, within 27 hours, they give you a um, booster shot to help you produce a lot of bone marrow really fast. And that's so your red blood count and your white blood count don't go down so far. I, th I think it might be white blood cell count. So. Did it say finished loading? It sure did, didn't it? Did we really not place? Huh. Well, okay. Okay, I'm not going to be able to place it like that. I got to turn that, turn that off. There we go. Okay. So you'll get to see this part of the tutorial again.
come up across the top small bridge angle just like that kind of matching them up come back down good and then a nice long angle down to here oops I did not match up the opposite side right there so let's match up that side like that and like this which is right where the ribbon would come across at about the width of the ribbon. Come up just a little bit more, there we go. Come across to finish off the second part of the ribbon. And then right back down across it. Oh, my head's in the way. Get out of the way, head. And finished. Good. And there we are. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and end this video for now. I think I've talked and explained enough about what's going on in my life with my wife and with our, our kids and everything that's going on. So um, if you happen to see that I've skipped a video or if you happen to see that I'm taking a break from a live stream or I don't do karaoke, um, please just know that there's probably a really good reason why I haven't, or it's because I'm so extremely tired from doing everything that um, that's the reason. And I hope you guys understand. And like I said, we'll keep you posted. I will um, keep you guys up to date on Twitter as well. And uh, if you want to take screenshots of the, the pink ribbons that you build, um, you can do that and send those across through Twitter as well. Um, I will continue to do the best that I can uh, on here and in life. So, as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and that is completely your choice. I love you guys very much. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.